Hey everyone, Katie Gehring here for Avrielle. I have a card to share with you today featuring the adorable cherry on top stamp set and coordinating elements dies. So let's get started. I'm going to stamp the large cherry image onto a panel of cardstock. I'm using a Copic friendly ink because that is how I'm going to add color to my cherry image here in a bit. I'm going to die cut the image using the coordinating elements die, and I'm just using a little bit of washi tape to hold the die in place before I run it through my die cut machine. Once everything is die cut, then it's going to be time to start coloring. And for the cherry, I selected the R11, R12, R14, and R17 markers. And I'm just showing you here in a very sped up fashion how I added my first layer of colors to the cherries. I typically go from lightest to darkest, and then I go back again from darkest to lightest to blend all of the different values together. I intentionally left two white spots on the cherries and those will function as highlights as I get closer to my final application of color. I'm going to do the same with the green stem. I'm going to add um, my lightest color and then I'm gonna go in with the deeper shades and then go back over it with the lighter shades to get a good blend in place. Once that's colored, I'm going to add the sentiment and I've selected the You're the Cherry on top and I am going to stamp that directly onto one of the cherries and that will be the sentiment on the card. So now that that is stamped, it is time to start assembling the card. I'm going to assemble my card onto a panel of pattern paper that I've cut to an A2 size. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere the outer border of the cherry design, and then I'm going to add the cherry to fit inside of that border. And once I have that in place and sort of adhered down, and I want to make sure that there are no loose edges that could get caught by the recipient, I'm going to add the center frame. I really love the addition of the border because it makes the cherry design stand out even more. As a finishing touch, I'm just going to add a few clear sequins and I'm gonna call this one done. For more information about any of the products I used, please visit us at avriel.com. Thanks for watching, bye.